With the advent of cloud computing, barriers to entry in many fields is starting to fade away. One such field is artificial intelligence. Back in the day, when I was doing my masters, I took a course on neural networking, and it was not very hands-on because access to machines with high compute power was very expensive. Today, I can sit in my home, spin up a GPU, and run machine learning models in the cloud and pay up just a fraction of the cost. Couple that with IoT, we are now able to run machine learning models on the edge and devices like DeepLens. As artificial intelligence becomes more affordable and accessible, we will be interacting with machines equipped with voice and vision in a much more human way. I am Shantam Kesharaju and I am the creator of two top rated Alexa skills 1 to 3 Math and Hungry Birds. 1 to 3 Math has consistently been featured as the top enabled skill in the education and reference category on the Alexa Skill Store. Hungry Birds is a unique game concept which is best experienced on Echo Show. Amazon has launched new products like Show and Spot which are equipped with a camera and are great for video calls. Over the last few weeks, I have been toying with the concept, what if Alexa can process what it sees? And today, I am very happy to present to you Aria, a virtual assistant powered by Alexa and DeepLens. Now, let us look at the kind of experiences we can create with Aria. Now, let's look at a simple demonstration of a picture identification game which can be played with kids. Alexa, open Aria and start picture game. Show me an animal that you have. Are you ready? Yes. Bravo! You got it. Let's try another one. Show me an animal that lives in a barn. Are you ready? Yes. Yippee! You got it. Let's try another one. Show me an animal that produces wool. Are you ready? Yes. Hooray! You got it. Let's try another one. Show me an animal that flies in the sky. Are you ready? Yes. Good try, but that is not the right picture. Please try again. Are you ready? Yes. Hooray! You got it. Let's look at some use cases where Aria can be used. Meet John. He had a long day at work and he's trying to wind down at home. He asks Alexa to play a TED talk and Aria notices that John is dull and remembers from his usage history that whenever he's dull, he likes to play TED talks from the inspirational category and his favorite speaker is Simon Sinek. Equipped with this knowledge, Arya plays How Leaders Inspire Great Action by Simon Sinek. Rachel is getting ready for a dinner and she has trouble picking a dress for the evening. She opens a fashion recommender skill on Alexa and asks it to make a recommendation. Arya captures the picture of both the dresses and sends it to the skill. The skill then compares that picture against millions of pictures which were previously liked by users and makes a recommendation that Rachel would look great in the pink dress. The skill also makes a recommendation for a matching earring. This picture is then pushed to Rachel's Alexa app on the phone. Rachel looks at the earrings and she likes them and then places an order right from there by saying, Alexa, buy me those earrings. Barry is a first grader who has just started to learn additions. He completed a set of addition problems and wants to check if he has got them right. He holds the worksheet to Aria and asks Alexa to open 123 math and check his math. Aria captures the image and pushes it to the skill. The skill then uses machine learning to detect numbers in the image and does the computations and responds back with its evaluation. Harry is an elderly person who is visually impaired. He hears that someone is at home and asks Arya to describe the scene. Arya detects that Harry's grandchild Barry has come with a birthday cake. Arya then checks Harry's profile and notices that it is his birthday and constructs a response which tells Harry that Barry has come to wish him happy birthday 
and has also brought his favorite chocolate cake with him.